In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fantasy Grounds Classic 5th Edition rule set. Uh, and specifically, we're going to begin talking about the various uh, data record types that are used for building players and how you can define your own. So for this first video, we're going to be talking about skills. Um, other rule sets may do things differently. Um, or they may uh, design their rule sets um, to function in a similar manner to how the 5th edition rule set works. Uh, but for the purposes of these videos, we're going to be uh, delving into the 5th edition uh, rule set specifically. So we're going to start off uh, looking at skills today. And uh, skills are the simplest of uh, each of these entries, so this will be a short video. Uh, we open up our skills here. Now, 5th edition if you have the player's handbook or the SRD loaded, it will come with all of the standard predefined uh, skills already loaded. So in fact, let me go ahead and load the SRD. Basic data. And you'll see here it comes with all of the standard skills that are common to 5th uh, edition already pre-generated. We can create our own skills, however, um, if we want to add additional skills to the game, um, or if we want to have entries that can be used on the player character sheet uh, to, to represent things like tool proficiencies, um, you know, thieves' tools, or, or uh, mason's tools, or brewer's tools, or uh, blacksmithing tools, or any of the number of uh, tool proficiencies that are out there. Um, also, you can use them to represent things like musical instrument proficiencies or, or really anything else um, that you want to be able to roll skill checks with. So to create a skill is very simple. We're going to just go ahead and click the edit list button and the green plus. This will go ahead and open up a, win a new window for us. And uh, here in this new window, we'll give our skill a name. Uh, we'll call this skill spelunking. And then we give it an ability. So this is one of the standard six abilities uh, in 5th edition. So you can go ahead and say spelunking is going to use wisdom. Because you don't want to be a stupid spelunker or you'll get lost. Now this next field here is just descriptive text. All of the automation necessary for this skill is already complete in selecting the ability. Uh, so we can put in any kind of descriptive element that we want. Um, you know, this skill is useful, is full, useful when underground, or whatever you know, kind of information that we want to include here in the description. And then we can lock the skill and we're done. Now for a player character, let's open up one of our player characters. We've got Shaira, a female elf sorceress. And we can come over here to the Skills tab, and we can see that she has a, a series of skills, and she's got a unique one here, this uh, musical instrument, the lyre. Uh, we can go ahead and add our new skill straight here by dragging and dropping. And you can see here it adds the skill and sets the stat, which we had defined here in the ability, uh, and then calculates it out for um, the roll out for you. If the character is proficient, of course, you would just mark it with proficient, proficiency, and then you can go ahead and roll um, and produce a, a score for that uh, type of check for this new skill. So as I said, there's any number of uh, reasons why you might add skills, things like these gaming sets, musical instruments, uh, or other types of tools that you may be proficiency, proficient in, proficiencies in sailing or, or you know, just anything that uh, that you want to be able to roll skill checks on. In the next few videos, we're going to be taking a look at each of the rest of the uh, character record types or the fifth rule set record types that are related to creating characters. So we'll be going over spells, feats, backgrounds, races, and classes um, in the next uh, few videos. Thank you.